So I just unboxed and set up my new iPhone 13 Pro Max. And to go alongside with it, of course, I've bought a couple of new cases. So let's start off by looking at the one that interested me the most, but also was a little bit, I just wasn't sure about it, but uh, we'll find out soon enough. So this is the very lightly colored uh, purplish, what I want to call a very light lavender. Apple calls it Wisteria. So this is called Wisteria and it's the leather MagSafe case. It's a $60 case, which always hurts, uh, especially since these now no longer seem to be compatible with newer versions of phones. But uh, I'm excited to see this in person. Now, I did see it in store and I was interested, but I just didn't know how it would pair up with my Sierra Blue iPhone. So let's go ahead and look at this case, give it a closer look and see exactly what this looks like. So, hi, it's me from the future. I, as I was wrapping up the video and cleaning things up, I noticed this in the box and uh, I just wanted to uh, talk about it because I've had um, a lot of people complaining over the last year about the issues that uh, they've had with their um, case aging. So a lot of people were suspecting it's not genuine leather, it's something like this or something like that. So this has a little bit of explanation. It really doesn't say much, but um, it does say that the case is made with a high quality supple leather to protect your iPhone. Um, leather is a natural material and like fi a fine leather belt, it may show creases, uh, marks or patina over time. Interaction with MagSafe accessories will leave slight imprints. So um, I'm sure that they've had a lot of people not understand what leather is and how it's supposed to work and complain about it. So um, they do have this in the box. Now, I don't know if they had this previously. I'm gonna go back and check in my bo in, in the uh, iPhone 12 Pro box. And if it's there, I'll, I'll have it written on screen if it was there or not. But yeah, this is a genuine leather case and they do give you that warning to make sure that you don't, uh, it pretty much gives you a heads up that, yo, you're gonna get a little bit of, you know, aging and, and changing on this case, but that's leather and that's natural. So back to um, past me, I guess. Right off the bat, you guys can see this is a very nice color. It's very pleasant to the eyes for sure. The one thing I'm not sure about is how it's gonna age. So that's kind of the interesting factor that's gonna be at play here. Is this gonna age into a nice dark purple? Is it gonna start to become blackish? If, if that's the case, the black might not look as good, but a deep purple, that would be fantastic. So the inside, of course, you've got that MagSafe ring. You've got the uh, felt on the inside. It's a really nice case. It's got full coverage this year, just like last year. So let me go ahead and pop the, the phone in and see what it looks like with the phone. And oh, look at that, that cool wisteria, the purple animation. So let's go ahead and look at that animation just one more time. That was so cool. I really like that color. Okay, one, two, three. Look at that, that was sweet. All right, let me go ahead and pop this in. So right off the bat, you got the metal buttons on the side. Uh, very, very nice, very smooth, and not really hard or um, difficult to press at all. You've got the uh, full coverage on the back and all four sides. Now, I do wanna say, um, it does feel extremely similar in weight to the 13 Pro Max, the 12 Pro Max, even though it is a heavier phone. Um, it, it does, I don't know if the case is different or what, or like lighter, but it, it seems very similar. Um, this is, there is a very raised lip for the camera, so you do not have to worry. You can set it down on any surface and never worry about um, it hurting or scratching up your camera in any way. It, it doesn't look like it on camera, but in person you can tell it, it really does. This, this is a significant ring and it is plastic. It's not leather, so it, it will. it is up to take a beating is what it feels like. So uh, I'm glad that they have a plastic ring instead of a, um, a just a leather or a raised lip for, of leather, which wouldn't really be perfect because leather would kind of wear down over time. So that looks perfect. Uh, the buttons, the size, let me show you the bottom. So perfectly cut out for the uh, speaker and the microphones, uh, charging port as well. And the lip on the edge as well, even with a tempered glass screen protector, that's what I like about the Apple leather cases, uh, and generally all Apple cases, even with a tempered glass screen protector, you still have a raised edge. So 
you can really make sure that your phone stays protected. And of the three or four years I've been using the leather cases, I've never had a phone get damaged in one. Um, the case has gotten beaten to all, all hell. You know, they scrape up and they start to look nasty, but the phone inside is always, always protected. So, um, you know, that's something that's interesting. So that's pretty much it for this one, guys. I'm just going to give you guys a nice close look at it just to round it off uh, all the corners. This is a pretty nice color. I'm just, the thing is definitely very interested to see how it ages. So let me know what you guys think of this color down in the comments below and what color you're going to get with your iPhone 13 Pro, 13, 13 Pro Max, whatever it may be. Let me know down in the comments below. I really want to see the combinations you guys picked. Did anybody else pick the Wisteria and uh, Sierra Blue? If you did, let me know down in the comments below. That, that's it for this one, guys. And if you want to check out this case or any other cases for the iPhone 13 Pro Max, I have a bunch of them that I recommend. I'll link them down in the description below. And of course, you can check out more photos of this on social media. I'll have all the handles right here on the screen. And of course, linked down in the description as well. So go check me out over there. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more Apple uh, iPhone 13 content, case content, lots more coming up. So be sure to subscribe for that. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll catch you in the next one.